welcome to today's video so today's video is all about this makeup look this is the teal glittery smoky eyes which i have created and i have paired it with the nude lip and i really liked how it turned out and this is a gorgeous makeup look guys you can just wear this to a lot of parties and festivals and you will just rock this look and I have used some of the new products uh, for creating this look. The products are not at all newly launched in the market, but these are just new to me. I am just trying this for the first time. So if you want to know how these products worked on me and how to get this look, then please continue watching. For the primer, I am using my all-time favorite. This is the Lotus Eco Stay Primer. It's a silicone primer which will actually fill up your pores and will just provide you a great canvas for your foundation to just work on your face. I am just putting it all over my face and blending it with the help of my fingers. For the foundation, I am trying this for the first time. This is the LA Girl Pro Matte. HD liquid foundation which I got in the shade light tan and oh my god this is a gorgeous foundation guys it's a semi matte foundation but the undertone is really good the shade actually matches me perfectly it's a light tan if you are of my skin tone I am NC41 in max studio fix so you can just stop this shade for yourself if you are of my skin tone it's a great foundation which will provide you great coverage it's not flat matte foundation but dry skin beauties you can just mix with an oil to get a very nice dewy look for the concealer i am trying this for the first time this is the wet and wild photo focus concealer and i got the shade medium tawny and it's again a perfect match this time i just made the perfect selection online because most of the time i just get my wrong shade but this time i just made the perfect shade so i'm just putting this concealer under my eyes on the bridge of my nose it's a medium coverage concealer but it will just conceal your dark spots your under eyes i will i am also priming my eyelids with this as well and blending it with the help of this real techniques expert space sponge now to set my face i am using the lacme 9 to 5 primer matte powder foundation which you can also use as a compact and uh, it has got a lot of kickback you can see but i'm just trying this for the first time so for the first time i might say that it worked on me it has mattified my face but i just need to use it a lot more to provide my final thoughts for this product now i am going to work on my eyes and for the eyes i am using the colourpop dream street palette this is Kathleen lights collaboration with colourpop and i am just dying to try this palette for the longest time and at first i am taking the shade shooting star which is a peachy toned brown shade and putting it all over my crease and blending it with the help of a blending brush now i am taking this rusty brick shade which is a shade potion and i'm just placing it uh, in the outer corners of my eye this is a very pigmented shade guys so you should be careful about that i'm just placing it in the outer corner of my eyes and dragging it a little bit in my crease and blending it very nicely in my crease you just need a lot of blending for this shade because this, this shade is really pigmented now i am using this red shade which is a shade spark from this palette and i'm just placing it in the outer two third of my lid this will add a red hint to this eye look blending 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 you just need a lot of more blending Now using a clean brush, I am just blending all the colors together so that there is no harsh edges. 
now i am using this shade elfish which is the dark maroon sh shade and i am just taking it in a small crease brush and placing it in the outer v of my eyes and blending together with the previous shades this shade will add a hint of smokiness to this eye look now going back to the concealer this is the photo focus concealer which i have used to conceal my eyes i am just putting it at the back of my hand warming it a little bit and taking a flat shade brush i will be just putting this a uh, concealer on my lid i'll be doing a half cut crease effect you can see i am just cutting my crease half away this concealer will actually help you to provide a base for your next shade to stick on your lid it will also provide a great pigmentation on the next shade that it will just work on your lid Now this is the star of the show this is the shade mermaid boy from the palette and it's a duochrome teal shade and i am taking it in a flat shader brush and i will just spray a little bit of setting spray in it and just place it on the part of my lid where i have put the concealer This is a gorgeous shade guys this is one of my favorite shades and my camera is not doing justice because it's a lot more pigmented than it appears on camera and i am really loving my eye look this is such a gorgeous teal shade now going back to the red shade which is the shade spark i am just intensifying it a little bit this will actually help to blend uh, the teal shade with the red as well For the glitter I am using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Pressed Glitter in the shade Distortion and it's a pressed glitter so you just need to be a little bit careful it's a blue shade and you I am just placing it all over my lid where I have put the teal shade Since it has got the glue on so you should be a little more careful because if you just add too much glitter then it will actually move up the teal shade Now I'm just working in my lower lash line and for the lower lash line I am at first taking the shade potion and blending it in my lower lash line. Now I am using the shade spark and blending it in the outer 2/3 of my lower lash line. Now I am taking the shade elfish and placing it in the outer corner of my lower lash line this will add so much smokiness to this look Now I am just mixing these two shades this is the sweet dreams and kaleidoscope which is a duochrome shade as well and I'm just mixing this two shade to highlight my brow bone with it and I will also highlight my inner corners of the eyes with this colors as well. For tightening my eyes I'm using in color glide on gel pencil in the shade jet black and I am just tightening my upper and lower waterline with it. For the liner I'm using sugar I told you so liquid eyeliner in the shade black swan. And I am drawing a regular wing with it. For the mascara I'm using Maybelline Colossal Big Shot mascara I'll be wearing falsies as well 
but before that I am just coating my lashes with this mascara. This is not a voluminous mascara but it will just lengthen your lashes to a lot of extent. Now to bronze my face I am using L'Oreal Gram Bronze Duo and uh, I'm just trying it uh, for the second time and it's a great bronzer but it just contours your face very well so I'm just contouring the hollows of my cheeks on my forehead and my jawline as well for the blush I'm using studio West pure passion blush in the shade dusty rose it's a great blush it's a peachy toned pink blush which has got reflects of gold in it and it's said to be the use for NARS orgasm. Now I'm taking this Makeup Revolution blush palette in the shade Blush Goddess and I'm using this second and third highlighter shade and I'm taking it in a highlighter brush and just highlighting the highest points of my face. I'm placing it on my cheekbones, on my nose, on my cupid's bow. And it's a great highlighter now for the lips I'm using NYX lip lingerie in the shade seduction another favorite of mine you know that I just love this shade it's a great nude shade which has got peach pink as well as a brown tones in it and it's really suitable for Indian skin tones and I think that this nude will go very nicely with this look so I just opt for this shade and it's a gorgeous shade I am really happy with my new lip now to seal everything to set my face I am using LA Girl Pro Matte Setting Spray and I am just taking a good little shower under it. I hope you really like this look I am really happy how it turned out I am really happy for this look the colors really blended together well and uh, I am really happy for the foundation the concealer is equally good and the teal is one of my favorite colors so I am really happy how I worked with this shade and you can just wear this look to a lot of festivals and parties and even you can just wear it with a dark maroon lip this will also give you grungy effect so that's all for today guys i hope you really like this video and if you do then please give this video a big thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and press on the notification bell to get updates about my videos we'll see you soon bye guys